one. We're in Shakopee, where are you at? We're in Shakopee and we're at the Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're not yeah, we're not too far behind. We're not we're not too far behind yet. Okay, yeah, we are. We I see Valley Fair like right now. Yeah, I. Best question right here. I see the sign. Oh, oh yeah, we see the sign right now, but I see Valley Fair like right now. <laughs> Four miles ahead, left on Marsh Marsh Cal Road. Yeah, we'll we'll be there. Oh, so we cut somebody off. We just oh. cut somebody off. Again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh well. Okay. Well, okay, we'll see you in a bit here. Yeah. Okay, bye. 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 Yeah. Oh, we weren't actually we we weren't actually too far behind them. Uh, Holy shit! If we wanted to stop, I bet we'd have been even here. Yeah. Well, I still say we wouldn't have to worry about Dad, Mom, you know. Race is Sunday, 6 p.m. Huh. Yeah. Figure eight. Yeah. Welcome to Race Point Park. Hey. So what, what exit did they say now? It's like, holy crap! What, what exit? Oh my gosh. There's Steel Venom, the yellow one right there, that's Steel Venom. Tower Which Tower one? is the big tower. Which one is the Steel Venom? The, the yellow one. There's two yellow ones. The yellow snake looking one. Oh. With the twisted tail. <laughs> that's Steel Venom, the first one. The oh wild, my god, look at that! The wild thing is the green one. Okay. Look at what? That's the one I was like, dude, you have Valley to Valley Fair, on. next right. You know, the green one is the green one is a wild thing. Oh my god! That, that, that's god. And then the yellow one's steel venom. Wow. Like I said, the, the no, big yeah. tower is a power tower. Um, Hunter said the steel venom is lame because it's not too long. Oh really? Okay, no. What? Okay, what exit do we need to take? We need four miles. Yeah, the steel venom doesn't oh, look too long. Oh, the park lot is pretty huge. Yeah, it's already fucking Holy crap! Look at, look, look at that. Valley Fair. That's why I wanted to go early. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get here. Look at that intense ride. Look at that intense Here we are. Yeah. Oh my god, we're so going on that Tyrell. Yeah, oh there's god. the wild thing. <laughs> they have go they have go-karts here too. I don't think it's Oh dude, I wanna ride yeah, go-karts. Yeah, there they are too. Jeez. Oh my dude, god. How come it's not running? I don't know. There's probably no one in line, I have no idea. Yeah, no place in line. Watch me fucking roll. Oh, okay. No, these rides don't break very often. Break very often. There's another team. Yeah. Uh, these rides don't like break the very often. Like the inside part of it. I don't know why. Maybe there's no one in line. Oh yeah, the lights are fucking full. People are just getting on right now. Uh, they have an IMAX. Oh, oh dude, look, oh, look, really? look, look! So people are on the wild thing. They're going down. I, I don't think I can see if yeah, they're going down. Oh, here's another roller coaster. Yep, that, I think that's Excalibur. Oh, it is. <laughs> Mr. Clay Casino. Which one is that one? Uh, a really big one, I think. I don't even know. I, I want to know what fucking exit we need to look for. Or what road to go on. Hey, good morning, everybody. And welcome to the fifth and final day of our, our little trip to the cities. I want to show you guys real quick our hotel room. Compared to the hotel room that we I stayed at uh, a couple days ago, this one here in Shakopee is a lot nicer. View isn't as great. Can't really see much, but it's our hotel room anyway that we stayed at before we were leaving. Kind of slept in, so we're almost ready to check out and everything. But uh, yeah, way nicer, way nicer, way nicer, like, uh, nicer. Well, a little messy bathroom now, but because the people I stay with it was messy. But other than that, pretty nice, nice fancy place. Western Plus in Shakopee, Minnesota. So if you ever come to the Shakopee, Minnesota area for Valley Fair or whatever, make sure you get come to this hotel because it's pretty nice. The beds are great. The, the, the service is wonderful. We never really took advantage of it because we were at Valley Fair all day last night. But uh, we had.
had a great time though. This is definitely an experience you know, throughout this whole whole trip. I, I definitely am amazed by just how much we got to do and how much fun we had and everything. So, but I better get going because we're going to be checking out pretty soon. But I'll have more footage of our trip home now, um, which we'll, we probably won't get home till probably about maybe eight or maybe seven or eight, maybe or maybe nine o'clock tonight. So I'm probably going to miss wrestling, but that's okay. <laughs> I can watch it later. What do you think it is? My camera. Hi, Desi. <laughs> hey, where are we going? Are we, are we going to a wedding? Somebody get married. Huh? Hey. <laughs> In a taxi. I could drive down here for a services that meet their physical, emotional, and financial needs. I'm very So is Bentley fall asleep already? Is sleeping already? What? Is Bentley sleeping already? Oh, he's a whole guy. I thought he was sleeping already. Are we gonna have fun today? Are you shy now? Hey, you get to see your brothers pretty soon, you know. You get to see your brothers pretty soon. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you do. Giant, giant kind. No? How come? Huh? Oh, well, I'm sure you'll get to see him. You'll give a great big hug when you do, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's, you know, the California Walmart. 
Yeah. 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 Take mom. <laughs> Just got done having a wedding. That's why we're here. Nice golf course. I definitely needed that. I want to take pictures of that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now we're here at Valley Fair. we making some memories today. Almost as fun as Mount America, maybe a little bit more fun. Funner. I know, but this is like. I got air. You're playing so air. Oh, shit, a water shoot out there. <laughs> And over here is the official Valley Fair logo that I had printed on my uh, cover on my Facebook page earlier, a few days ago. Pretty cool. Wow, they got helicopters, planes. I mean, this is amazing. This is like the, the fair, I guess. All the hype. Very hype. Oh, wow. When that, when that one comes down, you can go and stand on that bridge and get soaked. Oh, really? Yeah. Watch this. It's a good day for it. You get soaked. Yeah, you can stand on the bridge. Yeah, because it like, goes real fast or something. It's like a, it's like a water slide. That would be kind of fun to try. Probably the family dryer. <laughs> Oh yeah. Gotta yeah, keep it rolling. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Watch it. <laughs> oh, boo. Wow. It's like a big whale. Whale going by. Oh, that's fun. Hey guys, Frank Slasso here. And uh, as we continue this road trip, we're not in the Twin Cities anymore, but believe it or not, uh, as an extra bonus of just staying here or going on the trip, I decided to hang out with my brother and his family for the, for the night. They decided to stop here at uh, the Shooting Star Casino Hotel and Resort the Event Center uh, to come to the casino and they were going to just eat here for the time being, but then they thought, well, they were, uh, wanted to actually stay at the hotel. And since last night, when we were uh, in Shakopee, we didn't get really a chance to really do much in the hotel over there, so I never got to go swimming or anything because we were too busy with Valley Fair. So as we continue this journey on to uh, you know, our journey uh, from uh, 
you know, the wedding to the valley fair to an outback here in our area, kind of staying at this hotel for the very first time for me anyway, since I'm going to be moving to South Dakota here next Wednesday, officially, finally, and, uh, but we decided to stay here for the night, and, uh, it's a nice hotel anyway, very nice, fancy, I mean, not as fancy as the place that we stayed at last night, but the Best Western Premier, or Best Western Plus, but, uh, yeah, just your average room. Got for real cheap. So, yeah, just wanted to show you that. And, uh, we'll try to do some more footage. Maybe show around the hotel and stuff a little later when I can. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Decided to go to dinosaurs. Or the... Yeah. Well, I just have the. I, I didn't. You didn't bring your other camera. Well, dinosaurs are alive. Yeah, I know. Well, it'll be all right. I'll maybe have somebody hold on to mine. Dinosaurs alive is where we're at. You stay on path. Oh, she's running it. Wow. Pretty neat. It's like a real dinosaur, almost, or how, or the size of what they were back in the day before humans were alive. <laughs> That's a paradox. Please eh? stay on path. <laughs> Irritator. Oh, he's he's irritated. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you we be shit our pants there for mood. I know it's fake. Yeah. How you know? Jose. Jose, we're not fake you. <laughs> More players. <laughs> hey there, computerized so when people come by. <laughs> oh, geez. Predator trap. Dinosaur is alive. Now, would you be scared if he tried to chase me? Well, we're here at at the Shooting Star Casino, a water park. Decided to take a, a detour for the day. Instead of going back home, we decided to that would be great to, to go and go and uh, 
stay at the, another hotel since my brother got like a really good rate on it. Like, it's I think like 32 bucks or 33 bucks on a hotel room. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty exciting in a way. So not, not too bad. I think I would have mentioned that before in the other part, but uh, yeah, pretty nice. So uh, yeah, pretty nice pool over here. I think the one at the the other casino or the other water park that we were at. casino or uh, Best West from Premier or, or Plus was actually pretty nice. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it sucks. But this is the Shooting Star Casino here in Menomen. And uh, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice place. I like Coca Cola sponsors. They got like a Coca Cola machine and a snack machine as well. But our, but our trip is basically over. I, you know, I'm going to try to give you guys kind of my final thoughts on, on this vacation because this will be the last part of the video that I shoot. It was very good, a lot of, a lot of fun time, you know, making debut at Mount America, Valley Fair, and even here at the Shoe and Star Casino finally, you know, it's actually pretty nice, and it, it, you know, first time ever that I've, that I've uh, stayed somewhere where I had a vacation where I've stayed in three different hotels. That's never happened before, but it was fun though, and I, you know, I never had to pay for it. Oh, it's okay. I never had to pay for any of them, so that's kind of nice, but I can I help pay it. I help pay it a little bit, just, you know, whether it's giving money or, or whatever, I, I did my part in helping out, you know. But, uh, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know that we are here at the Shoot Star Casino in the hotel in Swirlpool area here at the uh, here at the here in Nolman, Minnesota. And uh, thank you all for tuning in for this special road to uh, Twin Cities series uh, trip series. It was a lot of fun, and I would love to do it again. But I'm sure it's going to be a long time until I do that again. I mean, my focus now will be South Dakota. I'll have more information about that next week when I, I'm going to make a, one, a vlog uh, probably the day next Tuesday when I pack up to kind of let you guys know kind of what's, what's going to take place because I might not have internet right away when I, where I move to. So it might be taking a couple weeks off, two or three weeks off and doing any interviews or anything for a little while or making any videos. But I think I, I deserve a little bit of a break after doing so much for, for you guys. And uh, got a uh, big interview series coming up, uh, you no know, three-day interview marathon coming up here with uh, uh, the co-creator of Red and Sippy, Mr. Bob Camp. We aired my interview I did with him, and also uh, my interview with the guy who does a Sam Kiss and tribute called Screaming Sam, and then uh, a, a monster creature creator, like special effects, like uh, visual effects. More or less like uh, actual monster creator uh, and movie guy, Mr. Vince, Vince Cruciani for Gustini. And uh, yeah, and hopefully maybe I can get a couple more people before that happens. That interview marathon will start probably on Saturday, this Saturday. And ho if I get any more, then I'll start sooner than that. But uh, yeah. So I hope you guys will enjoy that, and thanks again for tuning in. It's been a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this last uh, vlog in the cities and everything. I was trying to make it an hour, close to an hour, but I'm pretty sure it's not exactly an hour. But I think that's Tyrell there, I think. Yep, that's Tyrell. <laughs> trying to hide, but... Trying to hide, but he can hide all he wants, but I can still find him. <laughs> there he is. I see you, Tyrell. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, well, we'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Look at all this.
was fancy. <laughs> Here at a wedding for my cousin. Yeah, the purpose of why we're here anyway, for our, our cousin's wedding. But they picked a really nice location anyway. Very nice location. Private country club. Never been to one of these places before. Very, very different. A lot of rich people around here. Not used to that. <laughs> but look at that view though. Very nice, right by well, I don't think that's a lake, but it's a, just a little river. And a way outside. It's nice. Everywhere. It's nice. I hope you guys enjoy this video because this will be the third and final part of our trip to the cities video series. So I make this one as long as I can. Probably about over an hour probably. This is our last part. Make the last. Save the best for last. We still got Valley Fair footage coming up for tomorrow as well. So, or for this video. I want to show you this nice view here of the country club. Here in the cities, Blaine, Minnesota. Very nice. It's big too. And I think they even got like houses that actually people live here. You know? So you gotta have some money to be in a place like this. And I'm unemployed, so <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you guys in the next part. I don't know if I that camera. There you go. I don't like it. Yeah, it's like Jurassic Park all over again. I don't like it. It's actually cool how they have it. I got it. Yeah. It's like dinosaur world. These are, these are all supposed to be actual size dinosaurs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 Horny Mike. Horny Mike. He's backwards. Actually, I think we get to walk by there after a while. Imagine this being alive here. Wow. This is fucking cool. Look how big it's like a big old snake. Yeah, this is cool. Well, they didn't have shade back in the day. <laughs> so so I mean, if we see Fred, Fred Barney, well, then we know we're in the prehistoric uh, time. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, Barney from Fun Stones here. <laughs> that is a good trap.
Yeah, because for my last part, my our trip vlog, I'm trying to make it over an hour long or so. Maybe even an hour and a half. If it's the end of the next two days of, of today and tomorrow. And now that we're at a better hotel, I bet you they'll have internet right in the room yeah. so you don't have to worry about going. That was ridiculous. I should have had to do that. I plugged my uh, computer, you know, just to get internet. Oh, they're gonna be. They're gonna be fucking sold. Yeah. Yeah, there are. I see them right there. <laughs> oh, she's all crushed. Oh. I bet they're glad they took up the glasses. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. This is why I wear flip flops. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I understand. Uh, my feet were hurt after Bob America, but I still... Maybe that's not on the other side it is. Yeah, that's ours right there. I think. I think I should probably fire a couple. Done now. Uh, Bumper cars next. Oh, this is. This will be a lot of fun. Bumper cars. I look forward to this. This will be good. Finally get to go on a ride that I want to go on. All right. Oh, I had a good experience at the. Bumper cars, now they want to go. I'll be extreme swing. So that's what they're going to go on now. Mike and I are just going to sit over here again or tell. <laughs> be the Why ones not? that hold everything. But no, that was, that was good. I really enjoyed the bumper cars. I mean, that's something simple and easy. And Is Kayla already on the swing already? Uh, no, not yet. Where'd she go? Because there's like another line on the other side. It's yeah. been a wait time for this ride, 15 minutes. I just wish they would give us more time, you know, like, you know, 10 minutes or 5 minutes or something. They only gave us like maybe like 2 minutes. Oh, there's that uh, British Invasion thing that I'd like to go check out. Oh my god. Now showing hey. British Invasion. Man, we, should sit one of these. Just imagine what it would be like. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, I would be fucking scared in hell. It doesn't look how you set safe. <laughs> no, it's not possible. Didn't we? No. You, usually, yeah, you, you have, they're usually fucking locked up that, but I couldn't handle this. <laughs> That's uncomfy. Yeah. Now you don't want to be a football player. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Well. We're going to go in this here real quick, if we can. It's now it's appearing British Invasion. Musical salute to the Rotten Corn. No way to see it. Well, let's see if we can do it anyway. I don't know. Does it cost anything at all? Or? Yeah, the British Invasion thing was closed, so. But I found here, in their little area, right next to it, they got a Coasters Drive-In, which may be the cheapest place to eat, maybe, hopefully, as well as Atomic Drive-In. Yeah, like an old 50s-style you know, gas station that's into an arcade called the High Test Arcade, so I'm going to check that out real quick and see what's in here. So come along. Wow. Check 
kind of like what we saw at the Mall of America. Well, we talk about a lot of different iconic things on my on my little interview show that I do on YouTube. Well, nothing's more iconic than this logo right here. Where we are right now, Valley Fair. There. Right there is something very iconic. The official Valley Fair logo. <laughs> pretty cool though, pretty uh, pretty iconic anyway, that we're at Valley Fair and that official park guide. Anyway, they got a lot of interesting things in here to show you here. Some things that I've been more interested in. Stuff like this is more my style. All new entertainment. They got a British Invasion show. Something my good friend Greg would love. There's Smash. Thing. Focus is that good. So you guys have fun then? <laughs> yeah, that's one of the perks to get that, you know. Free drinks. Where do you want to eat? We're not gonna eat yet. They have you know, I was thinking, you know, you said the food's pretty expensive. Well, I was reading this thing here on the sign. They have a backyard barbecue. Okay, from four to six. It's all you can eat. For, uh, I think it's like ten or fifteen dollars a person. But it's God, all you can eat. Drop from up there. I swear to God, my pee, my pee. So it's gonna come out. This is that place right here. Yeah. That was awesome. Wasn't it? Yeah. They have like hot dogs, and bar burgers, and whatever. This be something you missed today. I don't know. I was just looking yeah, around. Since I was waiting for you guys. Planet Snoopy. That's kind of exciting. Based on all the Snoopy characters and peanuts and everything. I had a friend one time that couldn't pronounce the word peanuts, so they kept on saying peanuts all the time. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, it's kind of neat here. Almost like a Camp Snoopy in its own right. <laughs> Oh, it's only 3.30 or 3.20. Oh, there's the Mall America. Yeah. We filmed some of this anyway. It's called Thunder Canyon, I believe. Kind of a nice, long... Nice long water water ride. I would go on it, but I forgot my shorts. So, oh, that's why they. It's pretty beautiful, though. It is. Now that would 
good kind of fun, but I'll just say. that I didn't go on many rides. To be honest, I didn't go on that many rides, but I just thought, well, it'd be fun to... <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's family right there. <laughs> Having a good time. <laughs> As I knew they would, you know. I figured they would have a good time. But no, I haven't, uh, I haven't been, went on many rides just because they didn't give me a fast pass as the Valley Fair here offers. And then after all that, I just didn't have a whole lot of money to get one. So that would have been more worth it. And then I forgot my swim trunks in the, in the uh, vehicle, or Mike's vehicle, and, or else I would have had no problem go on a lot of the wetter rides for us. But we've had fun. It's been a pretty damn good vacation, I'll tell you that much. And definitely have enjoyed everything that this trip has brought to us. Whether it's, you know, going to the Mall of America, going to a family wedding, having fun at our hotel. Well, the hotel that we got tonight anyway will be a lot more exciting because there's, there's arcades there, there's pools there. There's uh, internet, everything, you know, everything is like better. Plus, we actually had two rooms, or two or rooms with uh, two beds in them this time. Last time, we didn't get that. I got a room with a cot, and it was supposed to be a room with uh, two beds and uh, all that shit anyway. But, but this one's it's the best Western, and this one's a lot better. The rate's a little bit better, and I don't know. We were going to share a room at that, you know, before, but then it's like, oh, too many people, and so, yeah, this is better. But it's been fun. This Valley Fair, if you guys have never been to the Valley Fair, and you're from Minnesota or whatever, or around the area where Shakopee, Minnesota is, you should try it out. Come to the Valley Fair, come to the Mall of America. It's, it's, a, it's a great experience, you know. You know, it's definitely nice to come here for the, you know, since for the first time in over a decade and since I've been here. Well, I mean, you know, southern Minnesota anyway, so it's nice to finally come back and, you know, have some good times and make some memories. That's why I put this on YouTube, you know, to make some good memories, so and that's exactly what we're having. So keep it tuned here, and uh, we'll have some more great footage. They got fireworks coming up here uh, tonight if we stick around. For the end, uh, we're going to be doing fireworks. So they're going to have fireworks somewhere at the park anyway. So, but uh, definitely a lot more to film and definitely a lot more to show. So, we'll see you guys after a bit. Keep on watching our road trip to the cities, the last part, which is hopefully an hour long or so. <laughs> All right. I have to say, Jazzy. Oh, don't hide. Hey. Look! Hi! <laughs> what? Did you did you win a minion? Did you win a minion? <laughs> yes, we're still at the Valley Fair. And just got done eating. It. I ate at the uh, Coasters Diner. The 50s, 50s and 60s diner. Roughly diner. Food's so expensive, of course. You know, I thought it was going to be like reasonable, but... Can you believe it? The subway over here, they... For a, Foot long sub. It, 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 if you want a foot long sub over here, it doesn't matter what kind. You have to pay fifteen dollars. How ridiculous is that for a little six inch sub? They want like seven ninety nine or eight dollars for it. I was just like, you gotta be kidding me! But then, of course, you know, realizing that's the Valley Fair, but I just went and ate it at the fifty center instead. Still spent like twenty bucks on food, but it was well worth it though, because it's a burger, a double cheeseburger, onion rings, and and a shake. You know, and that's. I like the old retro stuff, like 50s and 60s stuff, so that was alright. That music playing, it was like a good, nice 
It's not a restaurant, so. Let me see. What? You can see yourself. Now you see me. Hi. <laughs> we're here at Valley Fair, right, Daddy? No. No? But I, where are we then? Mount yeah. America? Yeah. Yeah? Well, we were there two days ago. Now we're at Valley Fair. No, Have a good time. Making Man, our debut, no. finally. Look at all this craziness and somebody's running with her. That guy must be in a marathon or something, huh? Look at all this. Swings and everything. People go up and down, up and down. And Dad's being a crazy person. This guy with a big dumpster. <laughs> all types of things. And Coca Cola sponsors this Valley Fair. It's kind of funny because Pepsi, Pepsi sponsors the Mall of America, but Coca-Cola sponsors the Valley Fair, which I thought was kind of unique. But until I get more footage here after a bit. Fireworks cap off the night. <laughs> kind of a good way to end the night, huh? And a successful trip.